Uh, we just. <laughs> what was that? What'd you say? Stop. Stop. I'm shy. <laughs> I'm. I'm actually shy. <laughs> um, we just checked into our room, and it's super cute. Just super last minute little Waikiki hotel room for the night. And we just got some drinks and some lunch. And this is the current fit. Little body mirror action, hold on. I ordered this and it came in the mail right before this trip. I just threw it in a bag and I was hoping, cause maxis don't always fit me. So I was a little bit worried, but I'm 5'2 just for reference. And I feel like it's at a good length. It shows, you know, my ankle. So I was just wearing it with some Javiana flip-flops, which I took off because I'm on carpet. <laughs> but this is our room we just checked into currently unpacking a bit. And it was a deal on TripAdvisor. So I was like, let's just let's just go. It's super cute. I like the white linen, the mango wood. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Tulum Bali vibes in Hawaii. And then we have a nice view of the marina and the beach and the pool. But I think we're gonna relax a bit. I might get ready a tad and possibly go out tonight, do something, dinner, who knows. But I wanted to get ready with you guys as the night continues, I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup, and I might do this fit. I might try on some more options, we'll see. But yeah, excited to be here. It's been so long, long awaited, and this morning was amazing, and I'm excited for the day and the evening we're about to have, but yeah. All right, let's do a little get writing with me right now. All right, so, I took a shower, I let my hair air dry. My hair is, oh, let me adjust this real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair um, before I get my whole makeup situation figured out. But I wanted to share with you guys my recent hair routine. I was so excited Oxy reached out to me to sponsor this video because I have been using the Aussie Miracle Volume Shampoo Conditioner for the past year. And the reason why I did is because I grew up using this and I remember the smell for me is nostalgic, it's comforting. So when they reached out to me, I was like, of course. So today's video is sponsored by Aussie and this specifically the Miracle Volume line, I have the shampoo conditioner is for me when my hair is feeling just needs to refresh, needs to be volumized after, you know, a couple of days I'm not washing. I try not to wash it every day. But when I do and I use this instantly, it's just like the oomph mm -mm, is there. So I'm happy that we are using these today and I'm going to explain how I use the volume spray gel to add volume while I style it. So before, I air dried my hair. I went in with these two right here. The lather is amazing and I like to air dry. I try to use as little heat as I can. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for meeting up with my girlfriend Haley, who I haven't seen in years. I've been waiting to go to Hawaii in, I mean, years now. So just for reference, my hair type is slightly wavy. Um, I air dried it and it has like kind of a little texture wave to it out but like the back part here has those waves and then for some reason the front parts just don't <laughs> don't want to get curly or wavy at all the Aussie Miracle volume collection has like that natural bounce to it so when I style it there's already volume at the base which just gets boosted more and more with the spray gel that I use. It's infused with bamboo and Australian kapadu plum. And these ingredients just give you the nourishment you need, but also just the extra boost to add to your look and the smell. I'm a huge fragrance-based person. If it didn't smell good, I wouldn't recommend it. 
So it smells amazing, but it has all the ingredients that actually benefit and nourish and add volume to your hair, which I love. And Aussie has a full range of different products depending on what hair type you have. If you have curly hair, if you have straight hair, whatever need you want, if you're going for more of a moisture or re like repair side, for me, I like volume in general because that's just my, my look. I like the look of just the tousled waves, the curls that have bounce and volume to it volume to it um but yeah so after washing and drying this is what it looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and go in and style my hair and i have a few tips for you if you are wanting to add volume as you style but also ways to keep your hair volumized for the rest of the day even after you style it as i'm talking i realize i have these scrapes all over my hands so <sighs> story time um First and foremost, I highly do not recommend taking those electric scooters out on the city. I made the decision to, and I had an accident, which basically I was riding on that scooter, which goes way too fast, but it feels really cool. It's like a Razor scooter with an engine. So like enticing, right? So I did, and I was doing fine. And I was in the bike lane, which I don't know if you're supposed to be on the sidewalk or the bike lane, but anyways, I was on the bike lane, like just cruising on my way back from a baseball game to the car. And as I was doing that, I see it like last minute, these, this couple was on the sidewalk and they turn around. I'm like, they're not going to cross. Cause like, I'm out here just trying to scoot my way along bike lane. Right. They don't look, they just like cross. And so I see that and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna run into them. So they're out here, they like cross, they kind of stand around. I'm like, oh no. And so I swerve real quick and I have like this amount of space to go through. So I'm like trying to squeeze in, but I don't make it. So then I don't wanna hit them. But what that means is like you're to miss them. And I hit the curb with my scooter. <laughs> It's weird saying that. And I'm ejected, like I'm just like flying. I remember like in the moment what I was thinking, what was happening. And I remember just like m like falling forward and at that speed that you're flying actually. And I remember just thinking, okay, Viv, if you can stand right now, please try. And I was like, no, nah, that's not happening. So plan A, not gonna work. Plan B is don't land on your face or you're like right side cause you're dominantly right. I don't know. That's just what I was thinking. I cannot explain. So as it was happening, I was like, no. And I barrel rolled. So I was like this, I was like, no. I was like, okay, but at least I'm gonna go like this. So then I'm like that. And then I skid across. This was from like two weeks ago. So it's healed a lot. Um, I went to Mexico recently and I swam and scuba dive and it healed it like two times faster than I probably would have been healed at home. But I have this and then it goes down to here, but it was like all like just like black and purple, like huge here. But this is what it looks like now. And like my shoulder, so everything was just open and terrible looking. <laughs> and then my face on this side, it's healed a lot. I was so happy that I was about to leave to Mexico. Honestly, at the hour after it happened, I was like, I'm so glad I'm going to be in salt water because it heals so much faster than if I were to have been in Seattle. So I was like, perfect timing. And then I had cartilage piercings here, but it kind of ripped it out. So I don't really have that anymore. <laughs> it sucks. And then I had a hat on and my hair was in a ponytail. It ripped it all out, so it was like just dragged across. Um, I look, I look a lot better now. I'm glad, <laughs> but this whole side of my body was just torn apart, all just messed up. Um, yeah, black, purple, just all that good stuff. I I just did not see it coming, and I dealt with it the best I could, and I'm just glad that. It was all like stuff that could heal. 
and was aided with salt water. So here I am in Hawaii with some bruises still, but I'm good. But I just wanted to do like a little PSA real quick because I realized I never really mentioned what happened anywhere, even on Instagram. But yeah, okay, let's do hair. This is my go-to routine. I'm using my 32 millimeter barrel as I always do wand style. And what I like to do is basically work this half first. I'll part my hair like so, and then start in sections from this side. And you're gonna wanna have like a two to three inch section for this particular look. I don't like doing super tight curls or super big curls. It's kind of a medium size that gives you a sultry wave is what I'm going for tonight. And then I'm gonna be using the Headstrong Volume Spray Gel by Aussie, which is the same collection as my shampoo and conditioner. So they're super complimentary and it just adds a little boost that lasts even longer. So I always like to curl my hair outwards and just hold the barrel like this and then leave just a little bit of the tail and out. And so my, one of my biggest tips is right here, right now, what I'm about to do. So once I've held that in for a bit, about like 10 seconds or so, when I release it, I don't let it loose, I let it kind of cup like this. So when it cools, it's still kind of in that um, coil. So as it's cooling, it doesn't fall flat. Cause if you let it go immediately, it's gonna cool flatter because of the, the gravity as it goes down. Right now, because it's lifted, it'll actually have more bounce to it. And this is something I figured out because I didn't do it one time. And I was like, why is my hair so flat? I was like, oh, I forgot to do this, literally this. So going with my Aussie Headstrong Volume Spray Gel, And what's nice is when you do that, it slightly covers the rest of your hair. Cause I don't like to go in full on, just like cover my hair spray gel and then curl it. But every time you do this, it does help with the hold. Um, but yeah, I cup it, spray it. And then my next tip is instead of letting it just down, you're gonna wanna flip it. So what this does is it lifts it at the root, which is huge when it comes to volume. So you have that bounce from the curl being held and then you also have the roots being lifted when it cools um, and flipped over. And I do that every single time. And then by the time it's all cooled down, I flip it back. The roots have bounce and the actual curl has bounce. And this does wonders, believe me. I've done it without doing this and my hair just is so, so flat. And it helps a lot when you specifically use products that give you that shine and encourage volume and it smells good. <laughs> and it's not crunchy, it still feels smooth and it looks healthy from the shine. So I'm gonna keep repeating the whole process of curling and then cupping it, letting it cool, spraying it and flipping. Ooh, it's sunset. Oh, I love being here so much. I love Seattle, don't get me wrong, but believe me, the rain makes me appreciate the sun when I see it, especially in places like this where it's warm and there's an ocean, just hearing the waves and all the birds and all the green palm trees and plants and flowers everywhere, just walking around. I like stopped and smelled the plumerias today and was like, it's been years since I've done this, you know? and having one of my hairs walking around. It's those things that I miss so much when we literally could not go anywhere. But being here is the moment I've been just knowing what will happen eventually and now that it's here. 
now that it's here, I'm so happy. So I'm excited to meet up with Haley, hang out with my girlfriend Sabrina, meet more people along the way, and just explore the island, revisit the places that I love, but also see new places and do a whole lot of just nothing and, and just on the beach, just read, journal, nap. That is it. The itinerary is whatever entails all the things I just said. And I'm just so grateful to be doing that finally. And having a reason to get ready. <laughs> I don't really have a, I don't get ready that often anymore. So this is my go-to though when I do. So this is how the curls turned out. Super volumized. And I love it because I can just kind of tousle it and it still has a hold and shine from the volumizing spray gel. Outfit of the day, I ended up choosing this maxi dress that has this slit and then paired it up with these super cute Jeffrey Campbell um, heels, which I don't really have chunky heels like this. So I wanted a pair for kind of more like a tropical vibe. So I thought that they were pretty cute and they're actually surprisingly comfortable. So, but yeah, this is today's look. I hope that you guys enjoyed the get ready with me today. Um, be sure to check out the description box where I will be linking all of the products I used if you're interested in checking it out. And let me know if you found any of these tips to be helpful. Also, if you have any other suggestions for videos, as always, let me know. But yeah, I hope you liked today's video um, and I'll see you in the next. Bye.